Welcome to Stidsvik. This is an overview of the Corrosion and Materials Testing Laboratory. In this laboratory mainly non-radioactive materials are tested. Stidsvik Nuclear has extensive experience in testing and conducting examinations on materials and components from nuclear power plants. During the last few decades different types of in-house designed autoclaves, and pieces of equipment for testing material properties in light water and future fusion reactor environments have been commissioned. Various corrosion, material integrity, and water chemistry issues related to nuclear power plants are studied. For example, initiation and growth of stress corrosion cracking, activity buildup, crud-induced power shift from various water chemistry effects are studied in the laboratory. The heart of the laboratory is the water purification plant for the production of degassed high-purity water. The system produces 500 liters per hour, and supplies all autoclaves in the laboratory with water. The degassed, purified water is produced from tap water using several cleaning steps. These steps include particle filtration, desalination, reverse osmosis, ion exchange, UV lamp, and redundant systems for degassing. The high purity water also passes another particle filter and ion exchange filter before it is used in the autoclaves. This test system is designed for crack growth testing, and it is equipped with direct current potential drop for crack length monitoring. The autoclave has a free volume of 37 liters, and with a total of 8 pole rods it is capable of testing at least 8 compact tension specimens individually, and simultaneously in water environments, at temperatures and pressures up to 350 degrees Celsius and 22 megapascals. The system is highly flexible, and it is very cost-effective since multiple specimens can be tested in the same environment, while the loading conditions among the specimens can vary. It increases significantly the test efficiency, while eliminating uncertainty introduced by the testing environment. Multiple autoclave loops of various sizes and for various purposes, like slow strain rate tensile testing, crack initiation testing, and crack growth testing, using direct current potential drop monitoring are operated in the laboratory. Stidsvik also designs electrodes to commercial reactors, and for in-house autoclave testing. The laboratory is equipped with test systems for crack initiation testing, in simulated LWR environments. Advanced testing approaches where crack initiation is monitored by DCPD, as well as more basic tests involving exposure of large numbers of constant displacement specimens like reversed U-bends and O-rings, or slow strain rate testing, are possible. The laboratory is equipped with an in-house developed PC-controlled, multi-channel valve-regulated water chemistry monitoring system. The system measures conductivity, dissolved hydrogen, and oxygen in water from the various test positions in the laboratory. There are two high-velocity test loops, specially designed to simulate the real flow conditions of nuclear reactors. Flow accelerated corrosion, and other mechanisms that require a high flow velocity could be studied here. We are now entering Stutzvik Nuclear's Active Materials Laboratory. Stutzvik Nuclear has extensive experience in testing and conducting examinations on highly active materials and components from nuclear power plants. Over the last few decades, a series of studies have been performed on irradiated structural materials from reactor pressure vessels, internal components and fuel cladding. The linked hot cells and single cells contain facilities for machining specimens and testing the materials. Irradiation-assisted stress corrosion cracking studies of stainless steels, accredited mechanical surveillance testing of reactor pressure vessel steels and examination of fuel cladding are some examples of tests that are performed in the laboratory. A number of creep and hardening relaxation cells are also in operation in the laboratory.
An important function in the Active Materials Laboratory, is the capability to machine specimens out of highly irradiated materials. Most specimens are fabricated by electro-discharge machining. Specimens could also be fabricated by a high-speed milling machine. The linked hot cells contain facilities for grinding and polishing metallographic samples, two optical microscopes for imaging and dimensional checks, and an inspection camera for documentation are available. Microhardness measurements through a microhardness indenter can be performed in the linked hot cells. The laboratory is equipped with a field emission gun scanning electron microscope with energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy and low vacuum capability which can perform characterizations on highly irradiated materials. There are three universal uniaxial testing systems, two impact testing machines, and five creep testing machines, in the Active Materials Laboratory. There is also one universal uniaxial testing system, for non-active materials. Testing can be performed at both elevated and low temperatures, including instrumented sharp PV impact testing, fracture toughness, fatigue, compression and tensile testing. Profilometry and instruments for analysis of hydrogen, carbon, sulfur, nitrogen and oxygen in solid samples are available. Creep tests can be performed at temperatures exceeding 600 degrees Celsius for long period of times. For fatigue initiation and propagation, fracture toughness, tensile testing, the load cells, grips, and adapters of the testing machines are interchangeable to enable tests on specimens with various sizes and geometries. This system is dedicated to crack initiation testing. Crack initiation testing has been performed on highly irradiated stainless steels to investigate the effects of stress, dose, and lithium in PWR primary water. Many specimens could be tested at the same time in this system. Up to 40 o-ring specimens distributed on five load trains have been tested simultaneously. Three shielded autoclave systems of in-house design are dedicated for crack growth rate testing of highly active materials in simulated BWR or PWR environments. Over the years, more than 50 specimens of neutron irradiated stainless steels and nickel base alloys at doses up to about 50 pi have been tested in BWR or PWR environments. We are now entering Studsvik Nuclear's facility for storage and handling of fuel and highly irradiated materials. This is a Type A transport cask weighing 29 tons. Studsvik Nuclear also has a Type B transport cask for transport of fuels and highly irradiated materials. A number of other transport casks are also available. In this facility the transport casks are loaded and unloaded underwater. The storage facility is equipped with three 8 meters deep, high-purity water ponds that can be used for underwater inspections and cutting of materials. Radiological control of all controlled facilities and laboratories is performed on a regular basis. One of the pools has a pool-in-pool -pool function where, for example, cutting or inspection of materials could take place. Hope to see you at Studsvik soon.